gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of tonight's show. Those of you watching on Fight TV, I am Johnny Della Rocco, and with me to my left is the big deal, Jesse Adams. And what a first half they missed out on for those tuning in on Fight TV. Ending with an incredible encounter between Buddy Matthews and Brian Cage. But now, you witness the monster known as Caveman Hug. Shoulder block does not phase on. Janela had all the momentum coming off the ropes and he didn't even move. Up. His momentum just stopped dead. I got it. Janela, gonna try again. And a steam. And again, Ugg does not move. Give it another try, Joey. Why not? He loves to put his body on the line, but he's going to need a little bit extra, just running at a brick wall. Unfortunately, the brick wall wins every single time. He has to try and build up a head of steam, and Ugg is not going to let him with a kick to the gut. And Janela sent to the outside, but he lands on the apron. Nice thrust to the gut. 
Janela now flips over Ugg. Off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. And just Ugg uses all of his body weight to just ram himself into Joey Janela. That was almost like a, a hockey style body check there by Ugg. Janela just ran to a wall. He literally just ran into a six boulder pound wall. That thing might look like a savage, but it knows how to wrestle, ladies and gentlemen. What a bro! Sorry, you may continue. I'm sorry, I'm just in you know, Ugg certainly, I, I don't think the crowd knows quite who to cheer for. They've got all the respect in the world for international superstar Joey Janela, but Ugg is the hometown boy. Massive knife edge chop. He solidified that status with a huge knife edge chop to the chest of Janela. I guarantee you if Ugg has his way, Janela's chest will be red by the time he gets home to New Jersey. Uh, just measuring right now, trying to figure out what's he going to do next. Everything he does, there's no, there's no finesse, there's no style to it. It is pure blunt force trauma. Janela's known for flying around the rink. He's known for doing whatever it takes. Knife. Ooh. He's trying. He's got impact, that's for sure. He's Arms against to... the ropes now. Nice for him, right to the face of Ugg. Now he's gonna try it. You do not try an Irish whip, Ugg. Ugg will just whip you instead. Janela gets the foot up. First, second row. Great catch. Once it, oh, this is, Huge it's catch. gonna be a long, long night for Joey Janela here. If Ugg has his way, you're right. Oh my, and <laughs> he just, he does not flinch! Ugg did not flinch! The power of Ugg is unbelievable, but the resilience of Janela is insane. We've seen Janela damn near kill himself, yet still come back against the odds. And now here is where potentially that notice qualification stipulation goes. Ugg is looking for a weapon. What does he have in mind? He's found a chair with no back. I mean, the, the steel could still be used to affect him, so... There, there we, we go. go. I thought he'd bring the pad with him. Now he's looking for more. What else could I be looking for? Oh! That was padding off of a steel chair right on the head of Ugg. To that little kid in the audience who caught that with his face, mate, take that home. That is a souvenir. Courtesy of the bad boy himself. Oh, steel chair right off the skull of Ugg. You know what I asked, what is Janela gonna have to do in order to get the advantage? You said he can use weapons and, well. He's doing that. Exactly, he said, you know what, it's no disqualifications, I'm gonna get in this chair and I'm gonna beat the ever-loving tar out of this man. And Both I do men keep, against the steel guard. I do keep referring to Ugg as a man because at the end of the day, that is what he is. He is flesh and blood. He bleeds, he breaks. Janela can beat this beast. Here comes Janela. Okay, Janela just showing off a little bit. Needed to make sure the again. chair was in position. I guess Joey Janela is in complete control right now, Vug. Now Janela's gonna look for more weapons. Now the steel chair, you know what they say, the more the merrier. Ugg is just out of it on the floor. No count by the referee, these men could stay out there all night if they choose to. Basically, oh, here oh, goes up with a chair! 
Oh, again from almost out of nowhere with that chair. It was a massive mistake by Janela there. Like, Caveman Ugg is not the kind of human being that you just leave while you go and look for weapons and take your time. And uh, that fan obviously does not like Caveman. He does not respect history. Respect to your elders, young man. Caveman has probably lived for about five or 6,000 more years than you. However, that was a momentary distraction. Can Janela capitalize? Yes, there it is. Oh. Unstable feeding. Oh! oh Chuck Toll right into the chair. His face just went bouncing right off that, that padding on the steel chair. But that definitely did some damage. You can see this crowd's kind of split. Half want to cheer for Ugg, the other half want to cheer for the bad boy. That's only because Janela has experience in these kinds of matches. Janela has been going to war with A little with bit of a strut there. A little bit of a woo! On AEW, he's been showing he knows how to fight in a no disqualification setting. That match he had with John Moxley was absolute violence and carnage! And you can see Janela just got rammed face first. Here's the cover by Ugg, and Janela kicks out at two. Ugg, Ugg almost looks at Janela like a piece of meat. He could tear him apart at any moment, but he chooses to have a little bit of fun while he's at it. Fans not happy with the antics of Ugg, but I'm sorry, mate. This is a no disqualification contest. He has done nothing wrong. Anything goes. It's all legal. Janela pushed up second rope. Oh, oh God! <laughs> wow. Could probably hear that all the way back home. Earth is Ugg doing here. Setting up some kind of contraption here. And he's gonna use the, the steel chair without the padding. I think he might be setting up a landing zone. Yeah, a crash landing zone. Is he thinking a superplex uh, here, Jesse? Top. A superplex is devastating enough on the human spine, but adding in those four folding chairs. This could be bad. Janela senses though. the danger though. Smart move. Smart move, plumbing at the back. Getting the Ugg back. Oh, hang on, he's pulling Ugg back pulling up. Back this could up. be a mistake. He's, is he out of his mind? He's out of his mind! Oh! Sunset bomb! Right into the chairs! Oh my god! I can't repeat it, but I certainly agree with him, Jesse. Janelle, Janelle almost feels kind of rejuvenated after that. He knows that, that he has an advantage considering the big man is down. He knows he can do this. Can Ugg rally though? Can he get back to his feet? Janelle off the ropes. Clothesline. And another. But Ugg is not moving. He's gonna go for third. Oh no, but Ugg's saying... Ugg is on. up! He's saying, bring it! Oh! And Janela just brought it with a huge clothesline, turning Ugg inside out! Janela sets up another chair. Is he thinking he, he is not... He was not... Is he gonna try and pick up Ugg? I think Ugg might be too big. Might be way too big. You look at the welts on Ugg's back right now. Insane. Nice forearm there by Janela. And another discus version. And another. The chair looks worse for wear. <laughs> the chair did not want to do oh. business. So Janela just throws another one at his head. That steel chair did not want to do business, so it collapsed under the weight of Ugg.
Janela setting up another chair. What on earth has he got on his mind right now? I've got no earthly idea. And again, gonna try and mount some offense. Right hand to the head of Ugg. Oh! oh. Huge slap by Ugg. Ross Janela. Ugg. Oh no, no, no! Monkey oh. flip! And he goes back first into the chair! God, that's always scary when he does that. Ugg trying and to call. And suddenly the fans are on Ugg's side. Ugg's got the cover. And Janela kicks out. It is always freaky when someone, the shape of Caveman Ugg, does something like a freaking monkey flip. Going back outside the ring. Well, he's got time now. Janela is down and he is out for the time being. What in the world? The man wanted wood and he's got it. It's not a, not quite a table, but it's close enough. Ugg's got evil intentions. He has got evil intentions. Janela just managed to dodge. Massive European uppercut. Oh, no. has got Ugg up! Oh, no, 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 no! Death Valley Dryer through the wood! Janela into the cover! Two. No, it kicks out! This is what I was talking about earlier. Caveman Ugg is one tough bastard. He just punched a hole through that wood. He is goddamn crazy. Janela top rope. Double stop. Right through the wood and into Ugg. Janela, cover again. What? I kicked out of one. And he's up. Ugg is up. That just pissed him off. Oh, my God. Steel chair. Folding over an Ugg, doesn't move! Oh my god! Holy! Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen! Ugg is pissed! He is pissed the hell off! He he is eating the wood! The he is eating the wood! Oh, the strength of Ugg is scary! No! Oh! Huge slam by Ugg! God, I'll get the cover too. No. Ugh, somehow finding power. I agree. Ugg shrugged off all those shots like it was nothing. He's got that caveman mentality, you know. His his head's as hard as a rock. They certainly built them different back then, Jesse. Janela looks worse for wear. Looks like there's a some sort of laceration on his left hand, oh, his right hand, sorry. Yeah, it looks like he definitely got cut open from uh, from punching that, punching the, the wooden panel, whatever that was. And that just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, like, don't try to put your fist through wood. Don't try any of this at home. Oh, Alex like a bad cut on Janela's hand. Now, Ugg's got another steel chair. He's got two. But if we know Janela... Wait, why is he setting them up outside? I, what the I, hell is he doing? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Another... What, how the hell do those get under the ring? Can someone explain that? He has made an invention. The Southeastern Entertainment Center senses what I might have in mind, and they want to see more carnage. And oh, now no, there's a, a ladder? ladder? Oh, boy. Well, it's, this isn't a ladder match, but why not? He's going to bring a ladder in the match anyway. Well, we got tables, we got ladders, we got chairs. And we got uh, 
We got all the, got all the furniture here. Oh, could God. this be the Ugg smash? Here we go, Ugg smash! no! No! Oh, Janela. Oh, oh, Jesus, with the edge! That steel frame. Heaving the chair at him. Just taking the Janella. swing at Ugg. Oh, God, what's he doing now? I tell you what, if... If Caveman had hit the Ugg smash from the ring through that table, you could have got a shovel and buried Janela on the spot. The he would have been he six thinking? feet under at that point. Who's he pointing at? What's he doing? He's got some avid supporters here. They are going out into the main and great area. Are they what all backstage? On earth is Hang on, he doing? wait, 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 wait. wait. He's what? going to getting that giant ladder. What the heck? Why is there a giant ladder here? What in the world? And we got some of the staff uh, here at the Southeast Entertainment Center helping him out. That's not in their contracts, Jesse. I think it was JXT helping him out. Did they get to see him here? Yeah, there you go, Australian wrestling superstar. Oh my superstar, God, that ladder JXT. is huge. Oh my. How? I have a loss for words. That ladder is almost touching the ceiling. The steel trusses up there. We knew Janela was insane, but I didn't think he was this crazy, Jesse. Well, if we know Janela, like we know Janela. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my oh, God. No. This is going to be bad. Oh, no. Joey near the top of the ladder. The madman. The madman. Oh my god! My god! He's dead! He killed him! For the love of god! I tell you what, it's a damn shame that falls don't count anywhere because. Janela's back, back up! Over. How the hell is he back up? Okay. Oh. How bloodthirsty these people, they wanted him to jump off again. Ugg is finished, this match is over. How is... One, two... two. Oh my... What?! I cannot believe... You are kidding me! What I've just seen. How in the hell did Ugg kick out? How is Ugg still breathing? That's the more important question. God, again going under the ring? God, Ugg is Ugg hurt. What the hell is Janela going What is that? For? What is that? I don't know. I just, I, I'm I trying to figure out what that know. is. I don't know what it is. Is it money? I don't think it's money. Oh! Ugg. How is Ugg moving? How is he still moving? Here we go. Ugg smash time. Oh, no. No. Yes! Okay. Ugg smash in the middle of the ring. Here's the cover. There's two. He kicked. Oh my god, how did he kick out? Go, I. I have no words. No. Ugg, no go top rope. Me think is bad idea for Ugg. Oh, oh god, he tried the moonsault. Nobody home. Oh, it's what? The, oh, it's thumbtacks. What the hell? Are those thumbtacks? Those are thumbtacks, Jesse. No. Ugg has no shoes on. Don't run through him. No, no, no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, God. The thumbtacks right in the bare feet. Super kick. Oh, no. God. Oh. And another kick. Just end it, please. That's it. Janela wins. What a performance by Joey Janela. Je I tell I'm almost at a loss for words right now. He threw absolutely everything, including a kitchen sink, at Caveman Ugg.
but in the end, it was using Caveman Ugg's own aggression against him, tricking him into walking across those tacks that allowed him to get the win. A huge win for the bad boy. He's got, look, look at that, he's got thumbtacks at his feet. God, I can't even imagine what that must feel like. Janela showing a bit of respect for Caveman Ugg here. Very, very gracious in victory there by Joey Janela. For those of you watching on Fight TV who wanted something a little more violent, you just got it. 